Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey Virgos, this video is for you, so that means Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and Virgo Rising. Before I even get started, if you feel like what I'm saying in this video is not resonating with you, um, it is a general reading, so just go on and check out your Moon and or Rising sign, which I do have a link down below, okay? Alright, this is your reading for 2019, so we're looking at the next year here. The card that you have coming up in the position of the energy for you, Cancer, also got this. This is a really dope energy to have popping up, um, is the Maiden. And this is a card that resonates with the energy of, you know, figuring out who we are, understanding what it is that we like, what it is that we want to do, what feels good to us, what doesn't, what types of people we want around. Just literally figuring out how we can live our best lives and be the best versions of ourselves and really putting our feet out there, getting our feet wet, so to speak, um, and nurturing these aspects of ourselves so this is also a card of being unapologetic for going down a path or figuring out your own path um so for you virgos during the year i think for you guys especially with this three-year energy really going to be coming into this position of where you're able to communicate who you are to the world and really show who you are to the world like you know this is me this is who i am and i'm not afraid to be this person uh we just came off of an 11-2 year, so that was a year all about enlightenment and all about figuring out who we are and what we like and what we do and how we need to heal and what we need to release so that you could come into this maiden energy for the year coming up. Okay, Virgo? The next card that you guys have coming up for you in your spread is the Ace of Coins, and it's not the best card to have coming up in the crossing position. This card tells me that during this year, this is a Pentacles card. It has to do with your finances and your foundation. This does tell me that um, you guys might have a little bit of, you know, financial struggles throughout the year. You might have a little bit of, of a hard time budgeting or a hard time, you know, making money, so to speak. Um, this could also have to do with, like, your foundations. You may have some problems in regards to, like, where you're living or, like, just at home in general. So keep in mind that... The Ace of Coins is the physical, and you can manifest your physical destiny. So, uh, although this is a crossing energy throughout the year, Virgo, you guys are very analytical. You guys break things down. You guys are an earth sign, so you're also good with money. You can figure out how to get yourself out of whatever financial bind this Ace of Coins is presenting to you throughout the year, okay? So, just keep that in mind. Um, I think that this also has to do with, especially coming over the Maiden card, that some of you Virgos are going to be trying to, you know create foundations in which you can do what you enjoy and do what allows you to be this version of yourself the true version of yourself and sometimes when we come into those things they don't always make us a lot of money it's kind of a like the starving artist so to speak like you know creatives don't always make as much money but we enjoy what we do you know what i'm saying so coming into your own trying to do what resonates with you could uh result in i don't know maybe a pay cut um it could result in you know a loss of a job because you want to do something different you want to move on from something you want to try something different um this card could also present the energy of not being able to move forward into new cycles and being held back by physical restrictions like a job or like a lack of finances or things of that sort so just keep in mind um whatever crossing energies you have coming up they are stopping you from really tapping into your true self so try to resonate within this energy and within resonating within this energy because you are virgos you'll be resonating with that analytical energy as well and you'll be able to figure out whatever you need to figure out to go on and straighten this ace of coins up okay um the next card that you guys have coming up in your spread is the fool and it's in the position of your uh home front so this is in regards to the family this is also in regards to uh let's not eat let's let's not eat the cords spanky let's not do that get down get down get down <laughs> sorry guys um and in regards to where you're living so this is the full card so this is a card of you know something new new beginnings coming into a new things wrapping up 
um, cycles. So as far as the family goes, this could tell me that there could be some shifts going on within the family unit. As far as perspectives go, um, there could be some new people coming into the family, like through marriage or like boyfriends, girlfriends, um, adoptions. This could also mean that, you know, you might be kind of branching off away from your family not really kind of literally leaving the nest so to speak um in another sense as we're talking about the physical dwelling space this could point to moving into a new space this could point to moving to a new state or a new city something of the sort this could also point to um getting like a new roommate or something just a shift in the way that you're living now moving into something different this is not a bad energy the fool typically for me resonates with a very positive energy so whatever moves or changes are coming up for you in regard to your physical space or your family relationships uh this comes with a good energy a new fresh rejuvenated energy okay which coming after it, you've got the tower card the tower card is coming up in the position of your finances and your career so as i was saying earlier with that maiden card virgo a lot of you guys are going to be in a position and with this tower energy i pick up on some of you guys in your workspace you're going to get to the point where you're just like i am fed up i cannot do this shit. i quit and then you find yourself in the position of really being able to find a happiness but you ain't got no job <laughs> you know what i'm saying um, this is not necessarily a bad thing. The tower card comes with the energy of crumbling foundations, sudden changes, um, and they always seem like everything's all over the place, you know what I'm saying? But these changes happen because they have to clear out space for you to start doing the things that you need to do and that you're meant, oops, oops that you're meant to be doing, okay? So... Virgo, a lot of you expect a major shift in your careers, expect a major shift in your finances, probably towards uh, probably towards a little bit of a lack for a while while you start to build up and build upon this maiden energy, but not to worry because you guys do have the four of wands coming up, although this is in the love position, I'm also reading it um, in order as well. So the tower, before I start talking about love, the four of wands is a card that talks about envisioning the future and making the moves that you need to make to ensure that you are heading towards the future that you see for yourself um the tower card whatever is happening here is happening so that you can get to this energy as far as your career and your finances go okay now going on to love and relationships this four of wands cards for you people in um relationships i do think that this comes with a little bit of a rejuvenated energy kind of like a, a shift in the relationships toward the shift in the relationship towards a more positive energy i'm um, not to say that you guys are in bad relationships but you might feel a little bit of a jolt of like oh let's try this out let's do something different let's start going on different dates let's like create some different routines or something like that um for the singles this tells me that you guys may already be involved with somebody or you're going to meet somebody this year that you could very much so see yourself being in a relationship with and forming the foundation with four is the number of foundation and building upon and work and determination and, and you know reaching the goals so as far as love goes it is also a fire card so there's passion here so whatever is going on whether you're single whether you're in a relationship whatever shift is coming in there is an energy of passion behind it and that is a good positive energy as far as love is concerned virgo i'm excited to see that card for you okay all right the last card that you guys have coming up in your spread is in the position of the soul message or you know your higher self transformation how are you growing spiritually this year and you've got the observer so with all of these changes happening for you you've got the maiden coming into your own you've got the fool coming into new cycles you've got the tower coming out of old cycles to come into a new but it's going to happen pretty abruptly and you've got the ace of coins even though it is a uh, uh, crossed it is also a card of new cycles it's an ace card um you got all these new cycles coming in this is a card that says you know as these things are happening just pay very close attention because everything is divine virgo um these new cycles that you are coming into for your living space if you're having to move you're having to move because there are opportunities there for you if your family's perspective is shifting it's because it's meant to so that you guys can grow and heal and become closer this tower card 
as whatever this is falls apart or comes up to like your whatever happens with this tower energy it's happening for a reason figure out the reason virgo this four of wands these people coming in for you or this new jolt of energy why is this new jolt of energy coming in what is it going to change you know what i'm saying everything that's happening during this year you are going to be very much so resonating in your own virgo that analytical energy that you resonate with again um just pay attention to the things going on around you again everything is divine and it's more so all happening so that you can come into and really really truly honestly resonate with this uh maiden energy again this year for you guys virgo is going to be all about coming into your own figuring out what really resonates with you figuring out what really works for you and understanding like you know you do have <laughs> you can close the door harder it's okay <laughs> um coming into this position to where you truly honestly understand what really works for you and understanding that in order for you to tap into this maiden energy you are going to have to clear some things out and whether because you guys are earth you guys don't like to make moves on things like that you don't really like change the tower card is going to come in and do it for you so it doesn't really matter and again with that tower energy everything happens for a reason again everything is divine also again just resonate with that virgo energy of being very observative and very analytical Okay, Virgo, that is your reading. If you feel like you need a personal reading, go on and book one with me. Um, I have that information linked down below in the description box. Other than that, happy 2019, and I will see you guys next time.